May was hot at the Salomash construction site. Thanks to an active inflow of investment, the intensity of earthwork related to the utilities increased. The installation of utilities to the right and left of the building was completed, and then they were looped. The wells were installed in their places. Installation of pipe trays continued. At the end of the month, a new significant stage of construction began – work on the landscaping of the area around the building of the Design and Technological Bureau. Surveys began to work at the site, machinery began to remove excess soil in order to further backfill the area with sand, leveling, laying asphalt and other coatings. Outside the Sevelmash site, work was completed to improve the area that was destroyed during the laying of utilities, the parking area, lawn and greenery were restored. The construction camp trailers were gradually removed. The construction management headquarters moved inside the building of the Design and Technological Bureau. Inside the building, the installation of the lifts began. The installation of interior partitions came to an end. Finishing works on the stairs were made, tiling and wall painting. The doors were installed. The installation of the engineering networks was in progress, namely the laying of wires in special trays. The important aspect of work is work with technological equipment. In May, adjustments of equipment in testing laboratory and on other sites continued. Commissioning works on startup of electric motors production line were in progress. Formation of the painting line began. Soul Group has created a new roadmap of the project. It shows the dynamics of financing in real time. How much investment has already been attracted and how much remains to be attracted according to the plan. It also shows the key achievements and goals of Solar Group and Sovelmash within the framework of the project. The link to the roadmap is in the description under the video. The first office of Solar Group in Latin America has opened in Peru. The office has been working in Lima for the last two months. However, the inauguration took place on the eve of the Solar Group conference in Peru, on the occasion of the arrival of the company's top managers. The event was attended by about 30 people including Soul Group's Head of Advertising and Public Relations, Pavel Filipov, Commercial Director, Pavel Shatsky, Director of Production Cooperation Resource, Andrei Lobov, the company's national partner in Peru and Ecuador, Massimiliano Vivian Rossini, leading partners and investors from Peru. The office regularly hosts meetings with investors, partners and business people interested in the technology. Visitors can see live electric motors based on Slovenka technology and the company's documents. The office helps to promote the project more effectively, so the company, having opened seven offices around the world, plans to continue this line of work in the future. On May 27th, Soul Group conference was held in Peru with participation of top managers of the company Pavel Filipov and Pavel Shatsky, Director of Production Cooperation Resource Andrei Lobov, as well as national and leading partners of Solar Group in Peru. This is a report conference, the purpose of which was to show the results of the project for a year and a half since the opening of the national representation in Peru, and also to give a new impetus to the development of the project in the country. The event brought together about 200 guests, partners, investors and people who have recently become interested in investing in Slovenka technology. They learned about the news of the project and the progress of the construction of the Design and Technological Bureau Sevelmash, as well as about special offers for investors, and they got answers to their questions from the company's top managers. As part of a Solar Group delegation visit to Latin America, Slovenka technology was presented at the oldest university in the region and the most prestigious institution of higher education in Peru, the State University of San Marcos. Andrei Lobov, head of the Production Corporation Resource, spoke to professors, the dean of the university and students of engineering specialities. He showed them electric motors with combined windings produced by ASPP Weihai, as well as a boat motor based on Slovenki technology, which he brought from Russia. Andrei Lobov spoke about the benefits and practical application of technology in transport, as well as about the project as a whole. Listeners learned what kind of vehicles can use Slovenka motors in their country. Thanks to the meeting, the scientific engineering community in Peru and future engineers, who will be able to apply and promote the technology in their country both in government, educational institutions and business, became acquainted with the technology and Sovelmash.